Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. It's a border battle. Floyd of Rosedale is up for grabs. It's homecoming. The Gophers are undefeated, and it's the Big Ten opener. How's that for sensory overload on this Saturday afternoon? You know, I felt confident coming into the game. As hard as we work, you have to. Um, you know, you really don't have any choice when you put as much time into preparation as we do. Powell and he's off to the races, Olympic type speed and he's gone. No one will catch him. Touchdown Iowa. 74 yards and it's 17-0 and the Golden Gophers are going to have to make some adjustments here. We're going into the halftime, we weren't worried at all. We knew that we always been the second half team so we weren't panicking and we knew that we would come back in the second half a lot stronger, which we did. Don't get frustrated and don't doubt yourself or anything of that nature. This is an opportunity for you to man up, okay, face some adversity, and hit it head on. The energy that was coming out of the locker room, being down 17 points, um, I think we looked at it more as an opportunity to succeed, more so than uh, a big obstacle that we're going to have to overcome. Jones finds a sliver of space across the middle of the 30, trying to beat the kicker to the outside. He could go a man to beat to the 40. And out of bounds at the 35-yard line of Iowa. 314 for Iowa. Nelson goes to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Derek Engel! 23 yards. They beat B.J. Lowry. Here's play action. Rudock to pass. Fires in the seam. And it is intercepted by Brock Vereen. And it'll be a touchback in the end zone. 406 to play. Out of the shotgun. Nelson over the middle. Picked off James Morris of Iowa. And that will do it. You get pretty emotional because you invest so much into it. And, you know, walking off the field uh, with a loss, you don't get any, you don't get a return on your investment. I guess I kind of jumped immediately ahead. You know, I, I didn't want to want to think about the loss. It was really quiet. We're used to being in the locker room yelling and hooting around. And it was just really quiet. And then Coach Kill just said that we got to just let it go and go into the next game, which is exactly what we're doing. Let's go now. Let's go. Jafette, what's happening? You doing all right? All right. <laughs> Sun shining and the birds are singing. <laughs> hey, did you get your bench press in? Uh-huh. Oh, it almost got you. It's still right there, man. See, you made it mad. It's a little insect, man. It won't, it won't hurt you if you don't mess with it. This is uh, year six for me with Coach Kill. Uh, I'm still, still considered one of the new ones when you look at the duration and, and tenure that some of the other staff members have had. Um, I joined Coach Kill at Northern Illinois where uh, he, he retained me when we had a coaching change and spent three years there with him and then this is my third year here uh, at the University of Minnesota. Hold on, hold on, time out, time out, Shuby, ain't paying attention now. What you got? Brock Wright, what do you got? You got that guy man to man, let's go. Don't think, do your job! I think one of the huge advantages that we have as a coaching staff is you know, on, you go any one-on-one -on -one relationship, Coach Klein and I are strength coach, 15 years. Coach Reeves and I, 15 years. Um, 13 years, myself and Coach Porch. Coach Savell, 12 years. My point being is, is 
There isn't a whole lot we haven't been through together as a coaching staff. Buzz our feet. Here we go. Set it. Hut. That's it. Set it. There we go. There we go. Go. Took a bad step there, Jordan. You see, you, you feel yourself step down to him. There you go. Good. Now, see, by the tell you, this is where he could break, and that's where you got to be. I like the work. I like the work. That's it. That's it. Good. Find another gear in there, Scotty. All right. Finish it off. The opportunity that's waiting for us against Michigan is a special one and it's one that we're not taking lightly. To go into the most historic stadium in all of college football, to take back one of the oldest trophies in all of college football, it's a special opportunity and it's one we need to take advantage of. We can't wait for it. Playing at the Big House in Michigan for the first time, I, I think it's going to be a life-changing experience. Playing in, or in a stadium with over 100,000 people, all of them cheering not for you and just having that adversity, I mean, who, who doesn't want to make a big rivalry game like that and upset them at their home stadium and bring that jug back to Minnesota? You know, the, the Big House is, is a great venue. It's a, it's a fun place to play. I'm not, I, don't, I guess I don't buy into the intimidation factor. Um, you know, we're going to play a football game. Uh, it doesn't matter who sees. So I don't, you know, I don't know if that's overhyped, but I don't think it's going to be a factor for us as much as people might want to think. At the end of the day, it's still the same game. You're going against 11 guys, 11 guys going against you, and you got to go out there and play as hard as you can.